Thank you for that uh, beautiful introduction. I know that I'm learning a lot as well uh, in parenthood. Um, before having Judah, we thought that it would be easy. But once we had Judah, it was a whole different level. And we, we, we praise God because we're learning as we go. And we thank God for His grace that allows us to be His parents and to be who God has called us to be. Amen. Greetings to you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above all names, the name that he is the reason why we have gathered here today. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. So we thank you for your prayers, thank you for your support, thank you for the love um, and just your kindness and gratitude um, leading up to our, our trip to Florida. Uh, so we praise God for everything that He's doing in our lives. Uh, I want you to say to the person next to you, are you ready for the Word of God? I'm sure we're all ready because we all were having this fruits and vegetables. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. Our reading tonight will be found in Acts 4, verses 5 to 13. God, you're so great. You're so awesome. You're so amazing, God. And we love you so much and we thank you for this opportunity that we have tonight to hear from your word, God. We praise you, Lord, for all that you are doing in our lives. May you be glorified in everything that we do, God. Speak to us, Holy Spirit. Speak to us, reveal to us your will tonight. In Jesus' name, and we all say, Amen. Acts 4, verses 5 to 13. Oh, 
Today for an act of kindness shown to a man who was lame, and on being asked how he was healed, then know this: you and all the people of Israel, it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. When they saw the courage of Peter and John and realized that they were unschooled, ordinary men, they were astonished and they took note that these <coughs> men had been with Jesus. They took note that these men had been with Jesus. Ole tu si fai te fai tau le nata tau fai tau ina na nei afi afi o se va e na so so o mai le tau ni le na fa malo lo wai e pe te ru mai o ane le te ngata pipi. Here our passage is a continuation of the events that happened after Peter and John healed the lame beggar. Olo mau le nei tala ina na nui na tau. So after this miracle takes place, the priests, the scribes, the church leaders. And the priests gathered together because they did not like the message that Peter and John were preaching. What were they preaching? O le ana la unga tu a peteru ma yoani. O lo mawa le i fai upu wo omana tato fai tawina le nei afiafi. Verse twelve. Ele ai foise tasi wa yai le ola. Ele ai lava se isi ngo i lano le langi wo fo ina mai te ngata e ma faia o na faola i na ai o i tato. They were preaching about Jesus Christ. That there is no other name under heaven and earth that can save people, that can change people, that can transform people's lives. It is only by the name of Jesus Christ. And you know the church leaders, they didn't like what they were hearing. And so today our message is going to be found in verse 13. Ola mau se tato o tu bo se fa ma lo si mo tato e kale si e le fa upo se fulu ma le tolo. And so my message is called a person that has been with Jesus. A person that has been with Jesus. O te fia tu fa tu se mo tato o fa pia. O le tangata e ma futa fa tasi ma Yesu. O le tangata e ma futa fa tasi ma Yesu. O le fisi nila. Oani winga poni me ete no aise tangata o ma futa fa tasi ma Yesu. What are some ways that we can identify a person that has been with Jesus? Amen. So in verse eight we find the first way to identify a person that has been with Jesus. O le fai upo e valu e mau mai ai le be mau mua tato te no ai le tangata e ma futa fa tasi ma Yesu. O na fai atu leo pe te ru ya te lato wa tu mu o ia. Amen. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit. Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit. So how can we identify somebody who has been with Jesus when they're filled with the Spirit of God? When they're filled with the Spirit of God, we'll fatu mui na ulato ili anganga pa iya. O tanata ya sata lo no malaunga iya pe tiro ma yoani. O tai tai yole malvalu. O to ya ina o ali o to si upu mal afai tau la si. So they captured Peter and and John. And you know that if we think about it, the people that that were threatening Peter and John, they were people in power and authority. When you think about what they were facing, the situation they were in was enough to intimidate them and make Peter and John feel afraid. 
o esa apoi a te la ua, ma fale pui pui, ina ia tau ma fai ia tau fi, le lau ngai na tu o le tana lea ia su keriso. So not only this was Peter and John, they were captured, they were arrested, they were threatened because they didn't want Peter and John to preach about Jesus Christ. So if we think about today, if the President Donald Trump, if he came to church and he told us, you Christians, you guys are not allowed to preach Jesus, talk about him, even mention his name at all, how would you feel? So when we feel like when we look at what Peter and John are going through, it's that situation is enough to make you feel afraid, make you feel intimidated. They weren't afraid of what the circumstances they were in. It mentions that these people saw Peter and John's boldness and their courage. Amen. And so we may ask and think, after all of these problems that they are facing, why were Peter and John able to speak with boldness and tell these people about the truth about Jesus Christ? Because they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. So they were able to face these people who were against them, trying to get rid of them and stop them from preaching the truth. And but they, you know what? That that didn't stop them. They continued to preach the truth about Jesus Christ. So church, when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we are able to stand up against the enemy. The Spirit enables us to be bold and to be courageous to speak about our faith. Second Timothy verse, uh, chapter 1 verse 7 it says for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. In the Bible, there's so many examples of people who stood up for their faith. We know about um, Abednego, Shadrach, and Meshach, who endured and went through trials and were thrown into the furnace because of their faith. He went through so many struggles. He knows what it means to be hungry, to be thirsty. He was shipwrecked. He was imprisoned. Why? Because of his faith. But, that, but did that stop him from preaching the word of God? That didn't stop them. That made them even go further for the Lord. Amen. So the God is here today. If you are to to follow the Lord for a tour, you are a man of tour. Ta to te ma faya me uma. You le fa a man of si ma o ye su keriso. Ma no na nga no pa iya ya te ta to. Amen. Peter and John were filled with the Holy Spirit. How were they filled? If I be filled or no, if I to move in it not uma, because they had been with Jesus. They were Jesus' disciples who got to see Jesus. They got to walk with them, sleep with them, do ministry together with Jesus. They had been with Jesus. And so these people recognized that, that they spent time with our Lord and Savior. 
e a wala mai lo na hanga pa ia e fa ata u lui na ai lo na wala au i o ta ata wala. Church, the more we spend time at the feet of Jesus, we are empowered by His Spirit to do ministry and to fulfill His calling that He has called us to. The Spirit of God enables us. He empowers us. He equips us. O ye na te fa o benga i te tato. He strengthens us. O ye na te fa ma losi mai a te tato, so that we can do the impossible. And you know, the people that were in the temple, they recognized that Peter and John, they were unschooled. They were uneducated, ordinary people, just like you and I, just normal people. And so 1 Corinthians 1 verse 27, it says, I bet I, wa fili fili a ele tua mea vaalea a le lalo lagi, ina ia faama ina e wa poto. Ma mea vai vai a le lalo lagi, wa fili fili a ia ele tua, e faama ina ai mea vaalea losi. God uses the foolish. God uses the weaker things to shame the things of this world and to shame the enemy. Amen. They didn't go to Bible school. They weren't educated. They didn't sit under the feet of a rabbi to, to learn about the word of God. They didn't do any of those things. But le mano le tua wa faama ina ai ye na fai fai ya pe tiru mai yo ane amen o no le talum le ya ye su ke riso o se fa ma lo sin mo ita to ne ne ya fi ya fi a o te fa pe e te le ya o le tu spa ia a o te fa pe e le 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 lo me a lo fo polo ta le ni pe te ma na tu fa to va ya te o la ba ia but may you think that God uses even the weaker things the foolish things to shame the enemy and his works. Amen? Yeah. And God can use you. All we need to do is to have faith in God and to believe in Tato Talitolu and Fauna Ina in their Tua Itato. And it's not what we can do, it's what God and His Spirit can do through us. Amen? And they will be my fire in Tato Fire. I will be in my fire on a fire in their Nanga Paia or Lord Vandu and my Tato Molana. So when we allow the Spirit of God to work through us, people will recognize His power in our lives. The first uh, point is they are filled with the Spirit of God. They were filled with the Spirit of God. Amen. So how can we be filled? Like our theme for this year is to be rooted in the word of God, to be founded, to be planted in the powerful and anointed word of God. And it also takes prayer. It also takes fasting for us to really be filled with the spirit of God. There's no other easy way out for us to be filled. You cannot go somewhere. You cannot go to a person to be filled with the power of God. We need to seek His face and then God can fill us with the power of the Spirit. So church, can you imagine that the great, oh, the great and mighty things that we can do for the Lord if we get intentional and desperate to be in His presence? Do you want to be filled tonight? It's if you're yeah, if you're fat to win the oil and I'm not let's win enough for you. If you do want to be effective in ministry, are you desperate for his power? Although I now now will let man or let I'm but I'll enough for you. Do you want to see God's hand move in our church? How does it begin? It begins by spending time so that Jesus, so the Holy Spirit, can fill us and pour into our hearts and empower us with His Spirit. Amen. Well, the second way that we can identify a person that has been with Jesus, number two, they begin to look and act like Jesus. They begin to look and act like Jesus. A person who spends time with Jesus begins to act like him, to walk like him, to talk like Jesus, and to be like Jesus in everything that they do. As we already know, Peter and John, they were disciples. So they got to see and they got to have front row seats to Jesus' uh, ministry and how he 
um, and how he was on the earth to do what he was called to do. Lona wina la e ma fana fana le maftanga a be teru ma yuane ya Yesu Kristo because they got to see how Jesus was. They got to see how he acted. They got to see how he spoke. How he served people. How he treated the people. Amen. Ile fa iko la skun ba tolo olo mawo ma yai le tato. We are going to find our second way to identify a person that has been with Jesus. Wava ai la to le fa malo se pe teru ma yuane ma wai lo o te nata e le ia o wina ila ua ma le bale dia. Ua la to wa foi, ua la to e lo foi o ila ua sa la to fa atasi ma Yesu. They took note that these men had been with Jesus. Ua la to e lo foi o ila ua. Salato fatasi ma Yesu. Why? Because they acted like Jesus. Because Peter and John acted like Jesus. Ale me Maria, o tanata ya sa ilo atu pe teru ma yuane. O tanata le talitong. The people that noticed and recognized that Peter and John were different, that they looked like Jesus, they were not believers. They were the unsaved. They were unbelievers. So this tells us, church, that even the world, they, those who are against us, can also recognize a person that has been with Jesus. Lo tau tala, lo savali mo tato o langa, fa alia i fi asu fai so. As a church, we need to not only talk about Jesus, but we need to be like Jesus. Why? Because our biggest testimony to a dying world, to the hopelessness in this world, is in, that's a need for a loving Savior, is how we show Jesus. Sometimes the only Jesus that this world can see is you and me. Ole moni ma wola mo mole lano langi ba ilato eleta litono o atato mo langa tu inato iletu amen. Ole mbele eta uai o atato mo langa tu inato iletu awa o lo vata vata mai de lano langi vata nata ele fa oleina. And so how we live our lives speaks volumes to the unsaved and to those who are watching. And so you can ask yourself tonight, how do I treat my neighbors? If I prefer no one of far to you or to our own, am I a loving spouse? Do I respect my spouse? It's a or to a lot of air in or to all one, a lot of far now. Do I serve God faithfully? Or to fat my own air in and when I let to her? Am I the same person in the church and the same out there? It's a two sala while we are to tell me like I see on my fafo. You saw Semeta to say, I do I reflect the character of God at school, at work, and anywhere I go. O se fai ma natu bole tato e kalesia o lo o mata mata mai le la lani ya te tato be moni be moni lo wa lofa ma lo fa tu e tu e ya tu o le mea mea e te tau e e tau wai lo tato a mio e be o Yesu. The world is watching us, and so we must look like Jesus. And so I'm going to ask you tonight: if the world sees us and people see you and I. Do they recognize that we are people that have been with Jesus? Amen. Do they astonish or are greatly um, impressed by our faith? E o fo tanata i lo fa tu tu. E e mai tau mai tanata o oyo se tanata o oyo se tina se tama se tama te talavo o ma fu ta fa ta si ma Yesu Kristo. And so that's a question that we should all be thinking about. That does the world say that we have been with Jesus? Yes, hallelujah. You know, there's so many things that can occupy our time and, and take away our personal relationship with Jesus Christ. In, in today's time, we have busy schedules. In Pisitato, in Arwena, or Aonga, or Ainga. There's so many things that occupy our time. Our time with Jesus Christ, and so as Christians and believers, we must always put our relationship with Jesus Christ first. Amen. It's a tau lava on a fa'awo mua lo tato mafutanga maletua 
It's when we spend time with Jesus Christ, that's how we know His heart. That's how we know what His will is for our lives. Amen. The greatest example of somebody that loves to spend time with God, that loves to spend time with His Father, was Jesus Christ. In Mark 1, verse 35, he lived my record. I see by Patolus for my limba, or Lofa Pemaye, or Litayao while a poor white oia, or no Fafole oia, Mamani Watsu Ilamea Tufua, Matamatawai. Jesus, he set aside time early in the morning to go and pray to his father. John 5, 19, verse 20. You are the limba for a full believer. Wafali my foe yate here, mea uma lava, if fire a year. If fali my foe a year, yate here, man wena silly silly, yea man wena, in a year or two, wafoi. It says that Jesus cannot do anything without what the Father reveals to him and tells him. So, how can Jesus know what God's will is for his life? How can Jesus know what his next moves are in ministry? It begins at our mata mai in a tiny little tato te ma futa fata siai ma yesu kiriso. If I be enough for tato le nea fiafi, if I fail the tato, we roll the fin and nano or let two more oil ma. I am mata in a tato, tiny fat pitoma le to. It begins with our personal time with Jesus Christ. And so the more we have been with Jesus, you begin to have joy in your heart. I am mata on a yay on only long lotto. Amen. Why? Because when you spend time with the Lord, when you spend time with the Father, the joy that flows from God, the joy that flows from the Lord comes through you and you are able to flow that joy in everything that you do. You have joy when you come to church. You have joy when you go to school. When you spend time with Jesus, you look forward to coming to church. Amen. How many of us look forward to coming to church every every week and every time that we have? When we when we have when we spend time with Jesus, you tell God, oh, letua ibo or fi halwa ile 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 fasa se i awo ne ilatu fe fi awo o leva ma tua tu tava le a like that's the the kind of joy that's the kind of um, uh, longing that we would have from spending time with Jesus Christ. You're here at prayer meetings. You're here at Bible study. You're here at services. You would make the effort because why? You want to you want to seek God. You want to meet with Jesus at every service that, that we have. So, but that begins with us spending time with Amen. Jesus Christ. Yes. And when we, the more we spend time with with Him, Amen. When we spend time with Jesus, we become like Jesus. Because He is love. So that means that because we spend time with Him, we also have love in our hearts. We are also to be able to forgive, to have peace, to be patient, to be compassionate. Amen. Amen. But where does it begin? O fe a matai, e a mata ile tato ma futa tu ma Yesu Kiriso. And so we know that this week, we, we, today, we've started our three weeks of fasting. O le wa mata le tato ana bongi le ne yaso. And so o le ma uana no ta inga as 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 leaders is for our church to really cry out and to be desperate for God. Amen. Do you want to see God move in our church? Do you yes. want to see Him move and do miracles? Do you want to see a new building? Do you want to see souls come to Jesus? And so I encourage us, let's get serious about serving Him. Let's get serious about being in His presence. Amen? 
There is freedom in his presence, but that begins when we actually set aside a time to really cry out to God and be desperate for his presence. Amen. So, so there are two things that we can identify a person that has been with Jesus. One, we are filled with the power of God. Amen. So we begin to act. We begin to look like Jesus Christ. And so I want to finish up with this verse to encourage us tonight. One more little church i want you to hear this verse however as it is written what no eye has seen what no ear has heard and what no human mind has conceived the things God has prepared for those who love Him. These are the things that God has revealed to us through His Spirit. We believe that the best is yet to come from Midway. Amen? Amen. Because they saw the glory of God on Moses' face. Why? Where did this glory come from? When we look at our lives and we look at our walk as Christians, it's not about being filled with Bible knowledge. It's not about being good at what we do in our ministry. Those are all good things. The most important thing for anybody in any church is your relationship with Jesus. Because when it comes to Jesus, I have a for so yeah, yes, who pay what some friends you tell you tell me. Elia, what to yes, who la whom I on a soul, face a bala, I own a bala, I own a soil, my dear to Tulima, Matavia, yes, who find my little father for me, Paul and Avala, I will yes, who you know so, Muli Muli Mayatia. Muli Muli Mayatia. Right where they are, they didn't have to be perfect. They didn't have to have it all together. These were just random people. That's why when they saw these people, they looked down on Peter and John. They knew that they were just fishermen. These were people that they were pretty much at the bottom of the job scale. But here, the Bible says that these people saw that these were men who had been with Jesus. Yes. And I love the challenge, man. Lay a little hill over to my forehead for two and eight poor. I want to turn out a baba aya to Yati or two year a calisia. I'll turn out a night to Tinan with a tas. It's a tongue or long and wet. Il a mere night here on my fear of a meter and wait a tongue for a low aima. Or I kill a camille for a long to tell it to a family reunion. Or if a silly, I go up with a family reunion, a man of my lama tangatana or two or so of Monia Yasukis. But we need to think about it. You don't give up Christ just because you're at a family reunion. 
no matter where you go, you still represent God. So say, mea ete hau ya iya ata niele mamango le etua ya te. Iya ilo eta nata tu salama po wailo ahainga. And they say, mea, because this is what we're doing. We're going to always, even though we're not part of the world, we're still called into the world. But because we're called into the world, don't act like the world. And I tell you, that becomes a stumbling block for a lot of people who want to come to the faith. See, we become a stumbling block. We become people who blaspheme the name of God instead of bringing glory to God. And so I'm, I'm telling you tonight, this is very important. Tell me who your friends are and we can tell you who your, what your future looks like. Because this is what the Bibles will tell my son. I'm a I'm a son. I'm a son. i I'm a I'm I'm a son. I'm a I want people to know this man, this woman, they are men and women of God. Amen. And I want you to, I want that to be part of this church. Midway, worship team, but let our actions be much more louder. Say amen. Because a lot of times that's what we like to do. We like to shout. We like to yell. We like to scream. But may your actions be louder than your words. And what do I mean by that? A changed life. And so I ask you tonight, who are you hanging out with? Who are you hanging out with? Are you spending time with Jesus? Say amen. amen. That's how leaders lead. We're first here, we're last to lead. Why? Because we're all about the business of God. And so I encourage you leaders, be about God's business. Be serious about the business of Jesus. Amen. 
mel alle if that to fa man no simele ka de sia lo time mi fa pito this whole week in fenga for it to am upon you to fa man no si i want to you tell him for for the fenga me i fa sa amen i hear am lo time mi o lo time mi fa pito am yesu your father how it to ka de sia o time mi le o ta to fasting let it be a time that we bring our devotion closer to god let's draw closer to him because the bible says in isaiah seek him while he is what while he is near Seek him while he is still found. So I encourage you, church, while we still have the opportunity. See, I will go if I pay him a fat and a little bit more. I talk to my mind. If I'm a lossy, lot of tell us, amen. On the loogie leo to live at a new oil, the up one there too. If I'm a lossy to a yat oil, my tattoo, my mind, I'm going to find you a little something on women. On the other women there too. I say, amen. Say amen, church. Amen. So let's come on. Let's get ready. Let's just be pumped up. And let's get ready to go through this fasting. And let's just set aside everything in the past. Let's not look at the past, but let's look forward amen. to everything that God has in store for this church. Say amen. amen. The best is yet to come. Say amen. amen. The best is yet to come. Amen. Can we all say that? The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. And it is only by God. Not by what we do. Amen. Not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Say, Amen. 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 Eleko e kaukule wa shakti, eleko e kaukule amu ngaku se fei fei au, amau leo maya au fa tumu ina mele maru le tua, amau leo maya tu di mai mo fa ifo le tua. I'm looking forward to that day, but that day won't come until we all, with one heart, one mind, humble ourselves before God, seek Him, pray unto Him, turn away from our wicked ways. Only then will God heal and bless our people. Say Amen. Say amen, church. Amen. Yeah, God bless you. If you have to say amen. 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 Amen.